Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and this is Viking Bushcraft and Survival. So I'm up here again uh, on a Friday to work on the bushcraft camp that you guys have seen in the last couple videos. Um, so last video I got almost all of the um, A-frame finished. So you'll see today when I get back here a little further, the A-frame is almost done. I've got to put um, about two or three logs on one side to uh, fill a gap in and other than that it's finished. So um, today is going to be building out from the campsite behind the fire pit and getting kind of the wall and the fire reflector for the fall and winter set up and then kind of enclose the camp all around there. So um, it's not even been a week since I was last up here so I'm hoping to get some more really good work done and hopefully get set up for the next trip up here to be an overnighter. Um, I'm hoping that next trip will be where I can come cook, stay for the night, and, and do a real overnighter video out of it. So today is just going to be the probably last or next to last in the uh, build, shelter build, build series. So really appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the comments and the views I've gotten out of it. And uh, I'm going to head back here and show you how much progress I've made and what's left to do. All right, guys. Here I am, I got back here, so as you can see behind me, um, this whole side that you can see right here is completely finished, and if you look down here at the bottom, you can see the gap on the other side. There's just about, I'd say probably three medium-sized uh, logs will do it. That'll, that'll fill that out. And then next, I'll show you. I'm gonna come over here where this fire pit is, and I'm gonna go behind it do a wall and then come out just kind of an angle from each side of that. So that's gonna be kind of the project for today. Finishing this off and then um, starting that wall. So tools I brought with me. Pretty much the same stuff you saw last time. I just brought the Gerber. This is good solid, pretty heavy built ax. And since I'm gonna pound some stakes, uh, this is a lot less likely to be damaged compared to um, one of my bushcraft axes. Uh, those would probably hold up fine for what I'm doing, but just to be safe, I'm going to use this since this is uh, really a sturdy built um, and impact resistant axe. And then I brought the silky saw, got my uh, silky big boy with me today, folding saw. So those are going to be the two main tools. Um, I did bring a knife. Uh, not that I really think I'll probably need it too much today, but I brought my Cold Steel GI Tonto. Um, I've had this for several years. I love these knives. I got these back when Cold Steel was selling these on Amazon for like 25 bucks a piece. Carbon Steel comes with a thermoplastic molded sheath. It's got all kinds of attachment points to um, tie paracord through it or, you know, tied onto a pack or anything and all kinds of options but carbon steel blade um, plastic handles um, scales back here textured uh, just a you can still get them I think for a pretty good price on Amazon these are just awesome knives for uh, a really budget conscious buyer um, I I have about three of them I've bought uh, just to have um, a a collection of them so if I beat one up or or something happens to one I've got a couple fallbacks but uh, fantastic knife um, I also tell you guys I'm planning on doing a um, Amazon affiliate here pretty soon so if you're interested in any of this gear I'll let you know when I get that set up uh, because it would really help me out if you guys use the affiliate link and so what I'm trying to do is get just a little bit more traffic and a little bit more um, subscriber base here on YouTube before I do it because Amazon does kind of put you through a trial period where you have to make like three sales within I don't know, it's either three or six months um, and so I'll let y'all know when that goes up so if you see anything you like um, especially any of the like really affordable knives that I really try to put on this channel because I personally you know don't have five hundred dollars to spend on a knife on a custom knife as nice as they are you know uh, 30 40 50 dollar well-made shred or cold steel or something like that is really where i'm looking to buy right now so if you guys 
um, are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know. I'll, I'll put it in whatever video description it goes up on and I'll make sure to mention it in the video. So there's that. And like I mentioned, I think in my last video, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, uh, I started an Instagram to go hand in hand with this YouTube account. So it's just at Viking Bushcraft and Survival on Instagram. I've got pictures of the shelter build, gear, uh, nature photography, just all that kind of stuff. So if you want to check that out, head over there. Um, I'll try to put a link. Uh, try to remember to put a link down in my description box. So if you want guys want to go check it out. All right, I'm going to kind of get set up here and find a little bit of material real quick and then we'll jump into building on the shelter. All right, so I got some deadfall. I think maybe enough to finish it off or at least very close to it. So I'll just cut some sections off of this. All right, guys. That's uh, that's gonna be about it for this side. Later on, I may continue to throw some odds and end pieces just to fill in a few of the gaps. But it's obviously not gonna be uh, waterproof or airtight or anything like that, like this. So it's perfectly fine the way it is. Like I said, I may do a tarp over it, just buy a inexpensive large tarp. So if I want to come out here and camp and if there's any chance of rain or anything like that and on forecast where there's no rain in sight just sleep under it as is so I don't have 
Um, for those of you that are, that are thinking, why not just cover it with moss? Um, I don't have nearly enough moss growth in this forest. Uh, there's nowhere around here that has good big sheets of moss on the ground that I could um, cover that up with. So I'm, I'm thinking other options. Moss makes a great covering for these type shelters. I've seen a lot of people do that, but I just don't have that resource around here um, and near that capacity. So it'll either be a tarp or just, like I said, if it's good weather, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just, um, I'll bring a ground sheet I have and, you know, a sleeping bag or whatever, set up, I'm using a wool blanket, whatever, and for fall and winter and camp it that way. So that's gonna be good to go. And then now I'm gonna shoot over here to the fire pit. Let me angle this down. So I've already gathered up some stones to make to work on this project. So I already have one good ring of stones around it. Um, but just for safety and to give it a little bit more presence, I'm gonna do another ring. And then after I do the reflector wall here behind it, I'll come up with some stones here in the back so that the fire is not burning right up against the reflector wall. That'll, those stones will help create a barrier um, and help reflect heat back this way as well. So just been gathering up. There's a lot of, a lot of rocks over here in this dry creek bed. So I figure I probably need more than I've got possibly, but go ahead and get started on this project next. I had actually plenty. So I already did last time I was up here, here in the back. Let me show you a little closer. So here in the back, last time I already uh, built this up. So I've got a little bit of a higher wall back there than what we just did. this right here just really beefing up that fire pit so it's got more protection from ash or anything spilling over the side and just helps protect the ground around it around right now plenty damp and moist around here our falls and winters are usually pretty wet as well but summer can get pretty dry um, during like the July and August months so uh, I'm not doing much in the way of fires right now anyways, but if I do, it's just nice to have that extra barrier and it makes the fire pit look a little more um, robust out here. So I like that. This is at the front of the shelter. Now I'm going to go in here behind it and I'm going to start gathering up materials for the uh, wall back there. So that's going to be my next step is I'm going to go out here in the woods and try to... Uh, find some more deadfall stuff I can use. So that's the next step. All right guys, so I have gone ahead and put the first uh, bit of deadfall. I went and got a bunch of deadfall and I've cut 
some staves to make for the poles to hold the walls upright. I've got some paracord back here that I'll use to kind of tie them together at the top. I've kind of cut the length, what, about what length the, the wall is going to be at the back of the fire pit. And I'm probably going to go about, I don't know, maybe five pieces high. And then the other two walls will come off diagonally from the ends of that. So, stabs I've cut, good end for hammering, and then I'm going to make, um, probably actually use this end for hammering, use the narrower end here to cut with the axe, just to sharpen it off a little bit, narrow it up so it'll pound in the ground a little easier. So, that's the next step. Tell you what, I'm gonna switch over here so I can have one of these heavier pieces underneath. So that's what I'm pretty much looking for. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy, but a little bit shaved off on the end so that I can pound those into the ground. And four. Okay, so those will be the poles for the wall, the, the reflector wall at the back of the fire pit.
Oh, that piece got a little bit of a split on the end of it, but it's, it's worked. So it'll work as the retainer on that side. Okay, there's our pieces, our pegs for the retaining wall. And then I've got some bigger dev hole over here. I'm gonna take that out, and cut two or three pieces out of this and be right back. All right guys, got the pieces cut to fit. So I'm just gonna start working them in here. I might do one more they'll find one more piece to fit in here and this will be the reflector wall done yeah I like the way that looks so I'm gonna do one more just make it a little bit taller and then we'll tie the paracord off on top okay guys I ended up finding a piece that when I cut it it gave me about two perfect sections to go ahead so I went ahead and made it six high on this one now I've got some paracord I'm gonna cut so that I can tie top of this side and that side together
Okay, let's do the other side now. All right, there is the fire reflector wall done. Fire pit's pretty much built out right here. And then I can stack some stones up here on the back to kind of protect that from uh, catching on fire or getting burned up when I do a, when I do a uh, campfire out here, so. I think I'm gonna get a few pieces. I'm noticing after I set this up, uh, even though it's behind the fire pit, it's angled. So I'm thinking what I'll do is kind of make a uh, triangle here at the top. I'll just have the other side come out here behind me this way and that'll kind of enclose or, or frame in this part of the camp. So I'm gonna look for some deadfall or dead standing and do this other side, try to get this other side done while I'm out here today. And that'll pretty much be, um, for right now, the majority of what I wanted to do with this campsite. And then next up, like I said, um, I'm gonna try to get things set up so that uh, in the next week or two, I can get up here and do an overnighter, bring some food to cook up, and uh, break this camp in right, do an overnighter at it, and uh, just enjoy I've really enjoyed this build and I'm looking forward to enjoying using it as a campsite. So I'm gonna get some more uh, deadfall and uh, get started on that. All right guys, uh, I'm working on cutting some more pieces to fit here. So I'm gonna do this kind of, there we go, a triangular top. So straight out from the shelter that means the fire pit will be offset to one side but that's perfectly fine it's still facing the shelter uh, so I'm gonna pound in the pegs on this end Adjust this so y'all can see better. Okay, so this is the end I'm working on now. Just gonna make the um, supports for this end. I think I can actually use this other side over here from the fire wall the fire deflector wall as kind of a brace point for them
perfect. Okay, so I've got two lengths cut. Oh yeah, that works. I think that'll work out. All right. Okay, so. Might do one more peg in the future here at this point. But that's framing it up. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be kind of the last project I'll show you. I did the fire pit, went ahead and did the stones for that right here. So you can see up against the, the uh, wood in the back, there's some good support and uh, deflection to keep the fire really from being right on those logs. Plus it does help that it's a little further back. So pit is done. This will be the wall on this side. I'm gonna go get a few more pieces for that and we'll wrap up this video. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up for today. Um, this wall right here is partially done. Um, let me straighten this out real quick. This wall behind me here is partially done, um, but I'm out of time, I gotta go today. So I really would like to go pick out some better pieces. So that's gonna wrap it up. I'll show you guys a little overview of what the whole thing looks like, what all I got done. This has been so much fun building. But yeah, other than finishing off that wall, it is complete. It's just kind of pieced together right now. I need to get some longer, more stable pieces, but that'll hold for right now. And even if it doesn't, next time I come out here is gonna be wrapping it up. All right, guys, I sure appreciate you watching. If you liked it, I hope you'll subscribe, give it a like, comment, Give me any questions, any ideas, anything you'd like to see. I hope you'll stay tuned for the overnighter. That's coming up real soon. And yeah, I think that'll be the next step on it. I'll finish, I'll uh, touch up that wall a little bit and finish it up. Both sides are completed here. You can see I got a lot of space inside. And then this wall over here is complete as well. All right guys, really appreciate you watching. And uh, again, I hope you'll, you'll subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care. My name is Chris from Viking Bushcraft and Survival. Take care, guys.